What's up, Scrollsers? It's Narp here, and today we're going to do some judgment. My first judgment video since Waypoints came out. So let's get into this. Use gold. Let's see. Um, starting off the judgment run, we got some pretty good scrolls, but not the best synergy. Um, I guess Nog and Fangbear is pretty good, but nothing. And then not a good growth thing up here. But the best scroll up here is definitely Life Stealer, but there's absolutely not even anything decay in these rows. But I think I'll take the Life Stealer anyways and see what happens. Revenant is like meh. So I'll take the Life Stealer, see what happens, and there is this or Sage Bog Cannon Blight Bear here, so that goes with that. But then I also have a Fang Bear. Okay, so I'll take the Fang Bear and Nog, I think. Definitely Fang Bear here, it's the best scroll on this row. And then bad stuff down here. So I'll take the Nog, which stays on color of the growth. And there's Kinfolk Grand here, so I might just go with like a strong growth deck. But I could go with Decay because I don't have a Life Stealer. But I think growth is stronger than Decay in uh, Judgment. So I'll take the better. And a stag cards down there. Here, if we want to splash, let's just take a desperation just in case. Um Wellen Ranger. Stag card. There's another Wellen Ranger. And Oblivion Secret Crimson Bowl. Um, I don't think we're gonna be an energy, but let's just take burn just in case because burn's amazing. Now, Wetland Ranger. Rallying is good. Mangy Wolf or Crimson Bowl? I think. Mangy Wolf is pretty good now. It's three costs. I think I'll take that. And I don't know. I'll take the Meyer Shambler. I'll definitely take Rallying here. Earthborn Keeper is not bad. Rod Eater. Sure, why not? Dryadic Paxter. So the Bear is pretty good. Earthborn Keeper. Central Letters go down here. But do I want to take this? This would be my second stag card. Do I want to take a Sister the Bear? I think I have to just take, but I already have two Wetland Rangers, so I do have my, and a Striped Fang Bear, so I don't really need another 4 drops, so yeah, I'm going to take this stag, uh, stag Heart, because I have a lot of 1 counts on creatures, so having two Stag Hearts in the deck is really good. Ventral Vetter, I don't know, um, Atrophy, Copper Automaton, this gives me, yeah, I'm going to take this then. Samata Shift, Summon a random Creature from your library, and Tower Tiled's health is set to 2. This is like not good for like this kind of deck, but whatever. I think I'll take it. This gives me order. Let's just take this amount of shift. Um, Brother the Wolf is good. So is Budding Better. I'm getting a lot of like growth scrolls like doubled up on rows. Um, Nog Unground. Brother the Wolf or Budding Better. I'm gonna take. I don't have that many beasts, so I'm just gonna take the Brother of the Wolf. Another Nog over the Unground. I think. Unground is not reliable. Okay, so now I don't know, I'm not gonna play Bounceable Times, so but I'll draft it. Maybe I should have gotten Energy. The uh, Forge. I probably should have gotten Energy. Oh well. Yeah, there's not a single girl scroll here. So let's take. I don't know. Let's just take Cursed Presence. Verdant Reel is not bad. Bling Sorceress. What What are we like splashing to? Not really anything, really. We're just like all over the place. I'll take the Forge, Snargle Brain, Verdant Veil, Gusly Azula is not bad. Roller Snorta, I honestly just might put him in the deck just to pick him at the end because he's so valuable. You can sell him for so much right now, so I'm going to do that. Um, another Nog. Nog, Frostbeard, Underdog Spite. Let's take the Underdog Spite. Nog, Frostbeard, Ancestral Pact is now uh, changed, so it's not as good, but it's still pretty good, I think. So I'll grab that, I don't know. Alright, so then, maybe I'll be in, there's another Fangman down here, it's good. Maybe I'll be in uh, Order and Growth. So, I'll take the Horn of Ages, see what happens. Champion Ring. Fang Bear, Brother of the Wolf, Berserker. Alright, now it's becoming pretty good. I like the Magic Arm and the Leeching Ring. Now, last but not least, well, how many growth? How much growth? We're not going to be able to go Mono Growth. Sister of the Fox is Noadi. Noadi gives me Replenish, so I can do other stuff. But Sister of the Fox is just like. I don't have many 3 drops, a lot of 2 drops, so I'll take the Noadi. And then I will grab the Purification. Let's see what we can do. So close to Mono Growth. This seems like an okay deck. Both stack cards, Nog, Ventral Vetter, Earthborn Keeper, 
Oh, we actually have a lot of three drops. All right, a lot of four drops. A five drop, a six drop, a rally. Okay, let's see, what do we want? Do we really need this magic armor? I don't think so. Decay, we have kind of crap stuff splashed. Energy, we don't have great stuff. But I mean, I think I just want to put the Relleros in, in case I get five wins, I want to take that Relleros. And Horn of Ages can be a good thing in purification, I guess. Okay, not too bad. Not the best deck, I don't think. But it's not the worst. No, maybe I can like play that roller us. I don't think I will. Um, so let's call this, or I could maybe I can play the roller us from playing this amount of shift. You never know. But I don't really have spells in this deck to play with that, anyways. So, growth order go. So let's see if I can do well with this deck. Immediately found a match, which is awesome. You can always find matches pretty quickly in the first thing of the first run the first match of the run and four drops five drops I'm going to draw a new starting hand and this time I do get a little better I can go two three four four so I'll sacrifice this double sacrifice is good though so I'm going to sacrifice the major wolf's worth scroll here so I'll just sacrifice the brother of the wolf because I want to keep that actually that sacrifice and scroll dev I don't believe he's actually a scrolls dev <laughs> You might be though. I don't think he is. Let's get rid of the rallying, play a Nog. Next turn, Manji Wolf, the turn for that Fang Bear, get a stag card or two on the Fang Bear, and then I'll be on my way. Bog Hound. Interesting he didn't try to like put this in the middle road, but put it there instead. Okay, we're gonna scratch the stag card plan. We're just gonna go straight curve up. Going for a straight curve up. I don't feel like engaging him because that three health wall is a little too much for me to take down right now. I'll try to move up and try to take middle idol, I guess. Uh, he's actually going to take middle middle uh, of the ward, so that's uh, unfortunate for me. And I will move away from that thing. Play a fang bear. Maybe I should probably shouldn't have played it on the back, whatever. No human on the board for him right now, so the fang bear is not doing much. But he'll probably play human. Okay. Let's see what Scroll Dev has in store. Alright, well in Ranger is good. So is Berserker. I think I'm gonna sacrifice Berserker for scrolls because I want more scrolls. I could just play well in Ranger anyways. So I'm gonna play another. I'm gonna play Wetland Ranger now. I'm not sure that uh, he has humans in his deck, so I'm not gonna play the other Fangler just yet. All right. Now I kind of wish I had like Crimson Bolt. It's gonna be hard to get Middle Idol because he has that Rot Eater too. Come on, play human. Animal Four. There's a human. All right. So now this now that, that Fangler has a bunch of attack. Now let's see. How do I want to do this? Oh, fr oh, Frostbeard is not bad at all. Actually, I can destroy a bunch of stuff here anyways. Let's do that. Let's get rid of the Frostbeard, actually. As cool as Frostbeard is, I think we should get rid of it. Ancestral Pack, maybe? Let's see. So then I will, I'll do it like this, and then you're going to have four attacks, so I'm going to make sure you are out of the way, and then you're going to draw scrolls, you're going to, this guy's going to have four attacks, this is going to be poisoned. Should I just play an Ancestral Pact? No, I'm going to wait until I can play something else in the turn with the Ancestral Pact. Right now I'll play a... Kinfolk Ranger that's going to have two attack next turn. Alright. So, actually this has, yeah, there's four attack, three health. Alright, we kind of took back, like, strength in the game, but he does have this Animal Horde construct that will be a problem for us if we don't take care of it eventually. 
Mudo Fighter. All right, so he just fills out the board with two more creatures. Should be okay for us. And Verdant Veil. Vale. I don't know if he has damage curses and stuff, so I'm probably not going to play that right now. I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'll just play another Fang Bear. I'm actually going to keep the Dried Crab, because actually Verdant Veil vale might be, might be useful. So... Let's go ahead and just ping that idol a little bit more and play another Fang Bear. So this Fang Bear is going to have 6 attack. If we don't like draw like a champion ring or bear paw. I think we actually should have bear paw but that makes him not be able to attack. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have like damage curse. That would hurt. Languid on that. Okay. And mobile and gaze on him, but that's only. Oh, that means he can't move. Okay, it's curse two, and he can't move, and he moves up. All right, let's see what I want to do here. Let's go for more growth now. Let's play. I want to protect up here. That's the thing. Um, I could move up, but then I'm making myself vulnerable, vulnerable to that guy. So I think I'll go with a brother of the wolf. I'll stick a vetter here too. Hopefully, he doesn't have like minor curses. If I take out middle idol, I think I'll be good, but it's going to be hard. At least the scavenger construct isn't in the middle. Okay. So now the other uh, Fang Bear is, has six attacks this turn. But he can easily get rid of the other Fang Bear. Let's see what he does. Let's see what Scroll Dev does. Um, next turn might finally be the turn I play Ancestral Pack, but I probably wouldn't because that wouldn't be a turn where my units would probably die. Like, last turn would be a pretty good turn to play, but I didn't have enough resources to play a beefy creature in front of the Fang Bear and Ancestral Pact. So I went with just the beefy creature because I want to try to make sure this thing can survive. Alright. And he is moving down. And a Blood Bear. Alright. So, I'm not sure what I want to do. I could just poison his row. Or I can take out the scavenger construct. Hmm. All right now I can't. Alright, now that makes my decision much easier. I think I'll just attack this row. Uh. It doesn't look like he has, like, damn curse and stuff, so I'm gonna get rid of the Verdant Veil. Stagheart. Well. I don't know. Three plus six. All right, I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. And then I'll stick a Gusly Azuler right here. Next turn, I'll probably go something in Ancestral Pact. Alright, awesome. He's still getting scrolls, but breaking into that middle row now. Took down both bottom idols. Little disconnect, reconnect there. Hope everything's fine on scroll dive's end. Pillar of Disease, that's going to be a tough to get through that. Unfortunately, I don't have like any, like, uh... Much hastens. I don't have Ragdolls or Kinfolk Veterans, which is unfortunate. Okay. So it's going to be hard to break through that. Let's see how I can do this. Um, Champion Ring stack card. I think I'm going to go for the Champion Ring and Speed. If I Champion Ring and Stagheart this guy, he does 
barely have enough damage to get through this. And then I can destroy both of these guys. Or if I just champion her and sack her with this, that, that wouldn't be enough attack, actually. Let's see, so... Or if I champion ring stagger at this, that's five. It's gonna be four. Five. That's going to be one, two, three attacks. It's going down to five, so that's gonna be uh, it's gonna deal two damage to him. And then I can. Right, so we're just gonna go with the get rid of the ancestral pact, and I'll go. I mean, you're just hopefully you survive. And how do I want to do this? Oh, only has two. Wait, why is that? Why doesn't he have more attack? Oh, because of the pillar. Wait, what am I doing? Did I mess this up? I think I messed this up. Yeah, I think I messed that up. That was kind of bad. Yeah, that was bad. It's not all bad. I'm still. I'm not sure if I could have done that much better, but I, I was thinking differently. For some reason, I thought that Fang Bear was going to have four attack. I was like thinking his attack would gain by one when he moved down, but it actually went down by one. Okay, it would be interesting to see what he does now. He could take out either the Gusly Zulu or the Well Ranger, two very potent creatures. Or he could take out the Fang Bear down here that's going to attack. So I kind of opened up my strong creatures room to kill. And I sacrificed the Ancestral Pack. That was not a great turn by me. And I wasted my big bullets of Staghart and Champion Ring. Okay. I'd like to forget that turn. So I'm just going to play more units around the Scavenger Construct. So I'm going to have to break in sooner or later or else I'm going to lose. Brainless on what? That. Okay, so that's going to go down. And let's see what I can get. Earthborn Mist. Oh, I can. Underdog Spite. And does that win Underdog Spite? Uh, two plus two plus seven, two plus six is eight, so it would not win. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to deal a bunch of idle damage up here. Hit that. I'll kill you. I'll play an Earthborn Keeper and a Nog. So I can have the Underdog Spite make a bunch of stuff attack next turn. And he's still gaining scrolls, but I have a, a huge army attacking. Alright. Let's hope I could win this coming turn. I think I'll be able to. I do believe I will be able to win this turn. This coming turn. Oh, it feels like a longer than 11 round game. I guess it was kind of quick. Yeah, if you put this scavenger construct in the middle, I think he would have had this game. Because it was right here, not in the middle, he didn't have that enough protection over the middle idol where I'm where I'm able to try to go after it. Alright, he puts another scavenger construct down. Does construct like, gain when a structure dies next to it? Yeah, it does. It's an adjacent unit. Okay. So this idol, like, we're not getting through. We might get one of these two. And is that his turn? He does have more stuff. Probably has another thing. Because he has a lot of scrolls from that construct. It's going to be hard to maneuver this coming turn. I can just win right now with an underdog spite, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, so... How do I do this? Um... Underdog Spite? Oh no, you have three attack, crap. The Wetland Ranger actually stops that. He has three attacks, so I can't do anything about that. I just made a misplay, woohoo. <laughs> um, how do I do this? Okay, let's hold off on some stuff. 
Let's move you. Let's have you kill you. You down, you up. At least destroy that. And then I'll kill you guys. And then I'll play it. Should I play Bear Paw? On what? What's the point? Yeah, let's play a Bear Paw just so we have like a big attack coming in soon. Or I just want my things to attack again. So no. All right, yeah, that's fine. All right, that that turn wasn't too bad. There we go. Now he's another turn to fill up his board, and hopefully we can win the next turn. I just got have... no attack at all because I destroyed. I destroyed the last human. And Slayer Vestige. Alright. Well, I'm not going to be able to win this turn, I don't think. Verdant Veil. Let's see. I think no. Should I just take, try to take out this middle thing now? 6 plus 3 plus 2 is 11. That wouldn't be enough to try, so I'm not going to take out the middle thing. I'll just keep giving him more scrolls. I don't mind. Uh, let's see. Let's sacrifice the Verdant Veil for scrolls. Frostbeard, I think, is a good thing to play. Because if it dies from combat damage, it's going to be perfect. I'm too, I'm too like clumped up. I'm way too clumped up. Yeah, I can't really do much here. I think I'm going to fly somewhere else. I'm going to fly right here. And then I will do this. Brother the Wolf, and I will bear paw this piece. It's not really doing much this turn, but now it's a four attack guy. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. He's still ramping up. I have to break through. Maybe I should have just done a bunch of damage to this middle thing right here, but I don't know. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Pillar of Disease, uh oh. Tribesmen, that gives these guys a big attack. Not really that big. Kind of, I guess. Alright, now that guy's gonna die soon. Now I almost wish I had Burden Veil on him. Stag Heart, is anything else have Stag Heart on the board right now? No, they don't. Um, Frostbeard. I'm just gonna get rid of the Frostbeard now. But he's not oh, rallying. Oh boy. Can we win? Fly you to the front, rally, and I. And then. A uh, four attack and two attack. Or four attack. Yeah, I think that's GG. I think it's GG. Because I can just. Fly you to the front. And then rally. And then is that GG? I think that's gonna be GG. In case it isn't, I will still do other damage, but GG I think, because I think I'm gonna destroy this. Yeah, GG. Okay. That's that got that got pretty close. Oh no, I destroy the human. I destroyed the human, but did did I have a choice to not destroy the human? I don't think so. Darn it, I'm making misplays. Alright, well, how am, I, how am I supposed to do this? Alright, now he's down to three health idol down there. Let's see what I can do. Underdog Spite next turn would make a bunch of things attack. Not that much of things, not that many things attack actually. 
and Pestis. My Shambler. Okay, let's see what I can do here. How am I supposed to do this? Um, underdogs bite nog. Underdog spite makes a lot of things attack actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna underdog spite right now. Sacrifice the nog. Ooh, double stag card. That's that might be my win con. Okay, let's play the underdog spite. Now that destroys this guy, so you relentless. Um Yeah. So let's just destroy him. And then I will do that. And not do anything else. I'm just kind of saving that Nawadi for when I want to play like Horn of Ages, but actually I don't think I'm gonna need to play Horn of Ages. So I'm just gonna play the Nawadi. That is fine. Alright. Well, if he's drawing scrolls, hopefully he's running out of bulk to put in front of the idols. And I, I have a double stag card to put on this Relentless Fang Bear this coming turn. Uh oh, looks like he's gonna kill him. Maybe not. Maybe there's no brain lace. And a uh, tribes in there. I think this might be, this turn might finally be GG. Is it GG? Is that GG? Yeah, it's just GG without me. Oh, I can't move this thing. That's why it's not GG. I understand. I understand. I can't move it. Okay. Well then. I need something else to attack. Five, three. I mean, eventually he's going to start running out of creatures, right? Right? <laughs> no, he's not, but he's going to keep drawing them. Okay. Let's just stick down a... Berserker down here. All right, so I, my misplays have ruled this game. But I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not losing the game yet. But he's continuously putting stuff down. If this Fang Bear survives, I'll probably go for the double stag card champion ring play, and hopefully that wins me the game. Double stag heart would add a bunch of attack, right? Oh boy, it's gonna be hard to break through there. I don't think I can win with a double stag heart champion ring. Okay, can I? Double stag heart champion ring, is that a play? Is that a play? I'm in my deck recycling, so I'm just going to do it anyway. See where, see where it gets me. Let's see. Stag heart, stag heart would give you three attack and then add three. So it's going to be six attack, eight attack. Yeah, I don't think that really does much. Hmm. That just poisons my stuff. Let's just take out this blight bear with a champion ring. Is that a resource? I'm just gonna play a champion ring here. Um I will kill you and play Brother of the Wolf, I guess. All right, now this isn't going too well. I might lose this. I don't have like any rumbles or anything. Like, this th if this thing doesn't get another mobile and gaze, I might be able to go with the double, double stack heart. Come on, 
Rot Eater probably in the back there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I just had, like, a Rumble or a Paw there. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? No, 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 uh, Crimson Bowl, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, so it looks like... That bottom idol is gonna be... Do I just purification something? No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna get rid of the Samata Shift to see what I can draw. Or do I... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Samata Shift. Dramatic Power. Alright, we're going for the double stack hearts. Eight. So then that's... Th three is going to destroy that. Then three. And then... I don't know if that wins. Just in case, let's do this. Okay, now we'll cross our fingers. Come on, please, please, please. Please win. Oh, GG. Wow, I almost lost that game. That took a lot longer than it needed to take. I made a lot of misplays early, but <laughs> luckily, I was able to stay in it. So thank you all for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Keep on scrolling, everybody.